Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to do my first ever mock draft. I've done other mock drafts on other people's channels. This is the first time I'll be doing it, so we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to go under the obsession of what Shane and Dabble are going to be looking at. So let's say that's best player available. Um, we, we're getting our coaching staff solidified. Uh, let's say we get three or four O linemen through free agency. Maybe, oh man, I, 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 I'm going to say three, three O linemen. So we're, we're good. We're already bringing people into the, 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 the facility to test them out, you know, maybe give them a futures contract, whatever. They're already looking. So the chances are pretty good. And look, Kansas City built their old line through free agency. I mean, I don't see why we can't go a year or two with a, a couple of guys and then start looking at offensive linemen, maybe trade for some offensive linemen. Uh, it's going to take two years at least to rebuild this whole line, at least, but before they get it to where they want it, even a, a semblance of a top 10 old line, top 15 old line, if you want. Well, let's begin with the draft here. Don't want to make this video too long. Seven rounds. We're going to go fast. I've highlighted New York Giants. Let's draft. Well, again, I'm not going to be moving off of all. That's all is best player available. So round one, we got Thibodeau, Hutchinson, Hamilton, and Karlofsis are off the board. The Jets took an edge rusher. Well, let's see who's left on the board right now with with what we have. We got Neil Booth Jr. Wow, he's moved up the boards. Green, Garrett, Matt Corral, he's moved up. Stingley, Olave, Charles Cross. So what was our trade offer? The Bills, we have four offers. So if we trade with the Bills right now, 25, 57, 89. A Buffalo second and a Buffalo third. Uh, that's not... Not too bad, but here's here's one of those what we were thinking about. Pick 12, pick 46, and a third for just pick five. The Steelers, we, we assumed that they would. We'd go back down to 20, 52, a second, and a fourth. I mean, I could counter offer on this, but and let's see what the last one is. Pick six. So they want... They want a quarterback. We get a second and a third. They feel that Pittsburgh, the Vikings, I don't know what the Bills would want. The Bills are offering the most, but we're dropping down 20 spots. You know what? And give up pick 111. Oh, I don't. I oh boy, I know you guys are saying one eleven. This is this is. I'm almost tempted to do the Vikings one. You know what? I am going to accept this one. I'm going to take that. We have one trade off for eighteen and fifty. For 100, because I think that's something that uh, I think Shane's looking for future equities. I really do. He said he wants to build in the draft. But let's look and see who's on the board right now. Oh, they want the Vikings went up and got Stingley. And then Booth. Booth. Wow. I figured a corner. Oof. I don't know about that one. But. As far as who's best on the board, who is best on the board? They got Aquanu, Aquanu all the way down to 20th. You know what? I'm going to accept this one too. I did a mock before this and it didn't even come out this way at all. Yeah, this one I'm going to reject. I've traded enough. We, I've traded enough, enough. Washington took cross. That's okay. 
that's quite all right. Because, oh, come on, scroll up. There we go. You got Kenyon Green there. There's going to be a really monster guard. Like I said, I'm not coming off this board. I just want best player available. Uh, this board's going to change. This board's going to change. Uh, I'm going to go with Linderbaum, best player available. So we know that that uh, he doesn't value centers high, but 15 might be the right the the right right play for that. The Dallas, the Cardinals, 2387. No, I'm not doing any of those. I'm rejecting all three. At 18. I'll go with Quanu. If he's going to drop that far down the board, that's why I traded down for those two. I got Linderbaum and Aquano. I got you O-line guys really happy right now, I hope. The Raiders, 53 and 86. San Francisco, I'm going to reject those. Not, just not a fan. Um, let's see who's who's available right now. Perry and Winfrey, Malik Willis, Zion Johnson, a guard. Trent McDuffie, Isaiah Spiller. Uh, I got a center and a tackle. I'm thinking Christian Harris, linebacker, Alabama. All right, so I got a center, I got a tackle, I got a linebacker. The Rams, of course, they're giving up everything, but that Rams second is going to be like an early third. The third will be, you know, they're just not picking high enough for me to even consider that. So, and I want to see who's on the board. I want to see who's on the board. Look at that, Isaiah Likely. Trey McBride. I got your center, I got your tackle, got your linebacker, and I get to pick a 49 too. A neg bear? Uh, I, I, man, I just, I like the talent we have with the rush if we're not gonna get one of the big three. Not a, a big fan. Um, I got to do it, guys. I, I'm going with Trey McBride. I'm going to take Trey McBride right there. I'm rejecting that offer. Now, 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 now. I have a center, a tackle, a linebacker, a tight end. Hmm, where can we go here, folks? What are, are y'all thinking? Let me know in the comment section down below. You want an egg bear? Do y'all grab another tight end? I mean, likely. In McBride? Ooh, how about Muma? No. You know what? I'm going to shake things up a little bit. I'm going to take Dotson, the wide receiver, out of Penn State. We're fixing the O-line. Let's get a weapon. I got that extra pick for a reason. You know, him and Tony on the field. If we get rid of Galladay, if Shepard's caught. Got a pretty good replacement, in my opinion. Moved down one pick. I'm not going to do it. I want to get an edge. 
I like I like this kid from Penn State. Two Penn State players. Two Penn State. Brandon Smith's on the board too. Likely still on the board. Sam Williams. I, I like the kid from Penn State. Yeah. You got an edge rusher. Help out with with, with uh Wake Martindale system. Green Bay's offering us a ninety-two and a fourth. And of course we're not we're not dealing with those guys at all. So folks. Got a wide receiver. Like I said, I'm just looking. Just looking at best player available. That's all I'm doing right now. I'm not trying to get fancy. I'm not looking specific. Just who they got listed right now after, you know, as the draft goes along. Quay Walker. He could be interested. Ed Ingram. Developmental talent. Kyler Gordon. Not a big fan of Philele. I mean, he's going to be a guard. But John Michi's on the board, too. I know he tore his ACL and stuff, folks, but that that guy could be a steal right there. You know, do you want to take a chance on an injury? We we see it happen all the time. What to do, what to do, what to do. Hmm. I uh Wow, I'm not seeing. Just scrolling down the list here for a minute or two. Just to see what's coming up. You try to get an idea. Oh, goodness. I'm going to take another linebacker. I'm going to go with Quay Walker, Georgia. That's who I'm going to go with. Then we got Logan Hall, defensive tackle. There's Jerome Ford right there. If I scroll down a little bit. James Cook is right there. It's 116. He's going to move up boards. He's going to move up boards. So, defensive tackle, running back, defensive. I, I mean, I like this Jerome Ford kid. I'm going running back. My draft. Pick 111, 181 for 118, 159. No, I'm not trading back anymore because I'm starting to. Let's see, this is the fourth round. Fourth round, we haven't done too bad, I don't think. I really don't think we've done too bad. Damian Pierce. Clemens. Not seeing anything really eye-popping. Not seeing anything eye popping. What to do? Hmm. For best player. Didn't get a good trade offer. Well, what are we looking at? Somebody that might be able to. <sighs> Who would be a, a good fit right here? Ridgeway from Arkansas. I'm not seeing 
I mean, hmm, I can get him in the next pick. Oh, you know, we need a D tackle. I'll go with Chris Hinton. He was, he wasn't too bad when he was at, at Michigan, so. How do they have 148? Oh my goodness. This guy would be a steal. Ludka, Turner, Ely, Skyler Moore. Hmm. What are you all thinking? Double up on running back, maybe look at Hassan Haskins. Maybe double up on tight end, Kolar. I really like that kid. That's the problem. But I'm not seeing. It's already round five. I haven't really seen the the interior linemen I've been watching. They must be jumping off the board early. Of course, when they're going fast, I can't pay attention. I'm going to double up on tight ends. I think Kolar's a steal right there. I'm not going to lie. And I'm not taking that. So this is, I believe, our... Oh, this is round five. Okay, we got two more picks. That's right, because I traded. I traded. Uh, hmm. Brooks, Jordan Williams. Will Williams might be a, a good developmental player. But then you got Donovan West, too. Ontario Drummond. Oh, man, people might not agree with this, but I might go with J.T. Woods at safety from Baylor. I just might. I mean, at least he'll be a special teams developmental player. Marquise Bell from Florida A&M. This is kind of rough, guys. I'm not going to lie. Tyler, yeah, I gotta make a decision though. I don't want this video going too much longer. I'm gonna go with Woods from Baylor. And I got one last pick right here. Uh, I, I figured he'd be still on the board right there. Anybody we should reach for? Mitchell, Schaefer, Cross. Stearns, Brooks. Uh, ooh. Ooh. I'm going to double up his safety because I want Bubba Bolden too. He might be a reach. But if love's gone, put one guy on the practice squad, developmental, Guys do get injured, and Wake Martindale's going to be able to get a hold of those guys fresh right out of college. No, Nobody else has really done anything with them in the NFL, and they might fit his scheme a little bit better. As I said, just, just depth. I know people, it's only a sixth and a seventh rounder. I just thought the value was there for those guys. So, without further ado... I got you, your Linderbaum, and I got a Quanu. 
a guy Harris and Trey McBride. Four starters right there. Dotson, that's five starters. A big, I cannot say, our, the edge from Penn State. We go fit right in. He, he he's fast. He's just he needs a little bit of coaching, a little bit of development. But he might be the guy to replace Lorenzo Carter. I think he'll he'll be fit better than Lorenzo Carter, actually. Quay Walker, got a running back, Jerome Ford, Chris Hitton, got a tight end, Kolar, and then two safeties and a third next year for Minnesota. Like I said, I get it, you know, but we need a, a lot of these guys aren't going to come back. You know, we're, we're going to need some people on the special teams because they're going to be clearing cap space. If I can get a couple of these two guys right here to be on special teams, that's cheap. You get rid of somebody else, you know, you save 500000 here, save 750000 there, you got one point. Two five million that you you've cleared in cap space to get somebody, or something, whatever the case may be. But I like Kolar, I like Hinton, Ford, Walker, Dotson, McBride, Linderbaum, Aquano. Well, that's how this draft went. But now we got to wait for the combine. That's two weeks away. Guys are going to be raising up this board, down the board. I already saw that. I mean, Aquano was a top five tackle, and now he's all the way down to 18th where I picked him, which is why I took those two trade backs. That's the only reason I took them is because I saw where they were valued, and I know I could get them. And that's what I expect Shane, or show Shane, yeah, Shane, and Devil to do. I expect them to, to be looking at the board the same way. Now, it might not be for these guys. It might be for somebody, somebody completely different. But if we get three or four offensive linemen, we get a Quanu and Linderbaum, even if they don't start right away, you know, because they're going to have to be taught. You know, we've seen how a rookie tackle or whatever if, if, uh, gets manhandled. Andrew Thomas lost his confidence the first six, eight weeks. We saw that happen. You know, so the, the, the offensive line coach, I believe, Wake Martindale with Christian Harris, I think that's a hot commodity. I think he gets his linebacker right there. You know, maybe they get another. They're looking at another linebacker that I'm not seeing right now. I gotta get to the combine before I really start breaking these guys down to know the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh round guys that are going to be there that could be a value pick. I, I, I just I have to. I, I, that's why I hope I see everybody at the combine when we're live streaming it, and then just a friendly reminder on Sunday, Big Pat Sports Talk. He'll be doing the Super Bowl. Make sure you all tune in with us. We're going to have some laughs. We're going to have some fun. And we should see a, a, a pretty good game. But if you made it this far, like, subscribe, ring that bell. I appreciate you watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. And until next time, folks, peace.